And I said, you know, when I drive out, sometimes I'm driving out of the gate and I see these people standing at the gate. And what happens? I just look at them, salam alaikum, I walk away. I said, don't worry, my mother will send something for you just now. <laughs> it's a reality. I learned why. That is character, sharing something. What, what went of yours by buying a loaf of bread, two loaves of bread? What went of yours? You might have some who might not want the bread. They say, hey, look, I don't want, I want money. You say, look, that's what I have. Then you can actually step in. Yeah. I'm not encouraging the giving or not the giving. I'm just telling you to look at it from a different angle. Sometimes if it is really dangerous and in your circumstance, your situation, your nation, it is something that should not be happening because of the danger that comes with it. I cannot judge your situation. It's up to you. But I can just encourage you to say, look how I learned. Okay, that's all. Subhanallah. Feed the food, feed people, feed those who don't have food. The hadith is telling you to do that. A person, sometimes we who live in the cities are lazy to go out to the rural areas to see the people there and how they are living. And sometimes we are lazy to go out to look for those who are poor. So Allah sent them to our doorstep and still we said, why are you begging at my gate? Get out. Allahu Akbar. Allah says, feed the food. Imagine a beggar tells you, okay, eat all your food, don't give me, eat it, eat it, all of it, and get sick. Some people are dying because of them eating too much. Wallahi, it's true. You look at everything in front of you, there's a limit to it. I know cheesecakes taste nice, but I also know they're not so healthy. So imagine things that look nice and taste nice, mostly are not really too healthy. Have you ever thought of it? Why? Because I think it's a lesson for me to know that you don't judge a book by its cover. You see someone, I will not judge you on your makeup because I know that it was Mac that came into the scene, not you. I want to, I want to interact with real human beings and be able to see their contribution, their dedication, their character, their conduct, and so on. That is what is the value of the person in the eyes of a mu'min. That is more than what they look like. And I learned that from just looking at food. I see lovely things and they taste really nice. I've got to control myself. Because inside, bad for you, bad for you, you know. They say a lot of the times, I'm going to say this because I've heard it in the past and I've even said it in the past. They say a lot of the times a guy sees a girl and he says, wow, will you marry me? And she says, hmm. She looks to the side, she sees a wonderful Ferrari. She says, yes, I'll marry you. Yes. What happened? The hadith says you look at akhlaq, you look at the deen, you look at so many things. I looked at looks and she looked at my Ferrari. That's all. And by the way, I do come from Harare. So anyway, she looked at it, she wants to marry me, I want to marry her. Guess what? Guess what? She makes a beautiful trophy, but not a wife. You know what a trophy means? You walk with her arm in arm. You go through the mall, the dunya will take photos of you, put them up on Instagram. Ideal couple, ideal couple. A year, two years later, you hear about the split up. I don't need to take names, but anyway, they are there. You hear why? Because now there's no more a Ferrari or for example, you no longer live in Harare. <laughs> Things have changed. Had I based it on something real, you grew older. I became deeper in love with you. I've seen what you're worth. You are my backbone. You are my strength and I am yours. Subhanallah. I support you. I'm dedicated towards you. I love you. I will make sure that you are a person who 